Well, hello everybody, I'm Will. And I'm Lynn. Hi everybody. We are Lynn and Will of LynnandWill.com. Yeah. Right? Ready to roll? roll? Let's rock and roll. Hey, we got a better one than that. <laughs> <laughs> Happy nope. Friday, everybody. Thank you for joining us today. It's Friday, July 24th. And if you don't know who we are... Lynn's going to tell you. Right. We are digital networkers. So what do we do? We help you to build your business online, learning the all important skill sets. Did you know that you can let go of a job? Did you know that there's massive opportunities online? Did you know that you can let go of fear and become your own boss? And did you know that you can create multiple streams of revenue while doing this online. Attraction marketing teaches you how to grow your business online by no longer prospecting or chasing anybody, leaving that behind because that's kind of old school. Right. That's the old offline worn out method. Come into the modern age, into the online way to build your business and attract people to you and no more chasing or hunting or doing any of that. It kind of makes you feel icky, right? Horrible. So, so by learning the attraction marketing skill sets, you can build your business globally and most importantly, reach that targeted audience reach. that you need to grow your business. And whatever it is you have to offer, you can target that audience without targeting everybody who's not interested. And that's basically, in a nutshell, what attraction marketing is. Right. So um, if you're one of those people, those network marketers that are making lists of a hundred or chasing your family and friends, uh, telling everybody within three feet what your opportunity is all about. You're pretty much repelling them. You're not attracting them. So we're coaches and mentors and trainers to help you bring your offline method online. Actually, there is no real offline method anymore since this COVID stuff has, has come about. It's just disappeared. Can't have hotel meetings. You can't have your in-home meetings. You can't have meetings with more than whatever X amount of people there are. So all that old stuff is out of there. So uh, why not bring your network marketing business into the digital marketing world? Uh, Lynn mentioned targeting. Targeting is so important uh, to take that one important step out of network marketing. When you're network marketing or you're bringing your opportunity into everybody within three feet, you are trying to create interest in your business without even knowing who that person is. That's the hard thing to get over with. You're going to be repelled left and right until you get that one person, right? So with attraction marketing, you're actually attracting those people coming to you that already basically know that you have uh, something that you can help them with. So. There are 49% of the world's population right now is on social media. That is out there in some sort of traffic, some big highway of social media is out there with 49% of the world's population. So you want to figure out how to get those people off that highway and down your road so you can show them their opportunity. And those are the people that are going to be attracted to you. So uh, that's what we're here to show you. We have some great stuff that we're going to share with you today on Friday. It's a follow-up or a finish up, I guess, on our series of uh, 16 ways to refine your Facebook ad targets. But before we get to that, if you're coming to us live, give us a little love by dropping us a heart emoji in the comment section below. If you're coming to us on a replay, give us a hashtag replay so we can give you a shout out later. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns during this Facebook Live, by all means, drop them in the comments section below, or you can send us a message through Facebook Messenger. Uh, and as always, we'd love to know where everybody's coming from in this big, beautiful blue marble. So please drop your location in the comments section below. 
so we kind of know where our audience is coming from since we are broadcasting to over 30 countries throughout the world. So how cool is that? Well, anyway, so we have some great stuff to share with you today. We started off with eight on Wednesday, and we're going to finish it up with the other eight today on Friday. So, Lynn, what, are you going to recap maybe what, what our six oh, of were? Okay, so the topic today is 16 ways to refine your Facebook ad targeting. And on Wednesday, we went over customer interests, online behavior, financial resources, age, gender, and location, industry and occupation, home ownership status, education, ethnicity. That's it. Right. I mean, isn't that incredible how you can target somebody? Just those eight alone is right. unbelievable. How specific you can get and how much information is out there about you and I and everybody else, right? So today we're going to talk about the remaining eight. Okay. And the first of the, the ninth way to refine your Facebook ad targeting. And again, if you don't have a budget for advertising, you need to create one. It doesn't need to be a lot of money. It could be pennies literally every day, a dollar, five dollars a day. Whatever your budget can afford, it's so worth it because you will reach so many more people as you learn how to create great Facebook ads that work for your business. So, so true. Today, number nine is parental status. Did you know that you can target people according to their parental status, whether they're single, whether they're a mother or father, whether they're parents with teenagers, or parents who have children who are going off to college? Isn't that cool? You can target people and the, the age of their children, whether they're one year old and younger, three to five years old, eight to 12 years old, 13 to 18 years old. It's just incredible how detailed and specific you can get with your advertising. Right, they, they know what your kids you have. The only thing I wanna to add to that, so let's say you're a targeted network marketing uh, person, you know, that has to do with age and whether they're living in their parents' home. So if they're 35 or 40 years old and they're still living with mom and dad, maybe those are the people you want to advertise, you can advertise to. And you can actually hone down your uh, advertising market or target to that particular person. It's just incredible what uh, Big Brother uh, Facebook knows about us. Not by name, but by pixel. Right, very good word. So... A tenth way is you can target people according to when they are born, such as baby boomers or Generation X, who are probably looking for other ways to create revenue. But the millennials, too, they're really important because guess what? They don't want to work from home. They don't want to work from their computer. They want to work from their phone anywhere in the world. So millennials are an up-and-coming... Huge part of the market. Right. That are all about online marketing and online businesses and are very adept at creating them very easily because they grew up with cell phones and right. iPads and all of that. And, and attraction marketing is right down their alley because it is uh, it is learning how to use the algorithms uh, of what Facebook has for you. Use, using the algorithms to work for you is what I was trying to say. So let's break this down in, in I like statistics. So. Baby boomers uh, make up 27% of the network marketers out there. That's the age group of 53 to 73. So Gen X, uh, which is the age group of 38 to 52, make up 34% of the network marketers worldwide. And all millennials, who are the age group of 23 to 37, make up 37% of the network marketers in the worldwide. So you can actually hone your target to those generations uh, that possibly you're advertising to if you're looking for network marketers or people that are interested in network marketing or whatever your product or services might be. Very good. You can also target people according to their political beliefs. Can you believe that? Whether they're liberal or conservative or moderate, <laughs> you can target people that way. Not really quite. 
you can pretty much target them without even doing that these days because you just read the Facebook posts. <laughs> My God, they're so galvanized these days, huh? Right. But I, I really don't have anything to add to that. It's just, you know, if you have an avatar that's target specific to maybe a conservative type individual or a liberal type individual, well, then that's the person you want to target. Or that's how you can do it. You can, you can do it. Very good. And the 12th way you can refine your Facebook ad targeting is through relationship status. So we have parental status and here we have relationship status, whether somebody's single, engaged, married, divorced, or in a committed relationship. <laughs> Who would have ever thought? All right. I'm not really quite sure how we use that either, but <laughs> no. maybe, no, maybe, if, you're, done that. maybe we... if you're online dating service, maybe this would be a, a, a target, <laughs> an ad target you'd want to uh, enter into. Uh, other than maybe, you know, if you're a, a realtor or an avatar, use that. remember we talked about building your avatar and some people's avatars are built around a 35 year old woman that's recently divorced, has three kids at home. Uh, you know, maybe that's your target audience, those type of people. So you can actually target that avatar or that person uh, because she's divorced. She has two young kids at home. Uh, maybe she's taking care of an elderly person, too. So um, that's one way of using that relationship status, I guess. Very good. So the 13th way is through job status. People who just started a job, you can target your ad toward that. People who are, uh, who recently, did I just say who just recently started a job? I mean. Or unemployed or. Or unemployed or somebody perhaps who's retired and looking for another way who wants to generate more income. Right, make a few extra bucks. Right. Yeah, after they upon their retirement or gearing up for retirement. So according to job status, it's another way you can target your Facebook ad targeting. All right. Um, I really don't have anything to add to that, but that's pretty straightforward. Job status. Right. A fourteenth the fourteenth way is through their purchasing habits. Which big we, one here. That's a really big one because have you ever noticed if you go shopping online for something? It's happened with me. It happens with me all the time. If I go looking for swimsuits, guess what happens in my Facebook news feed? Swimsuits. Instagram as well, right? Swimsuits, swimsuits, swimsuits. It happens with shoes, purses, whatever. I am perusing and looking to see. And all of a sudden, it's everywhere. I'm being blasted by it. Social so, media knows all. Right. By your purchasing habits. Big. Right. That's a big one. That's a big one. Uh, it's a big one for us. Anybody that's a network marketer or they're an attraction marketer or, or a coach, mentor, or trainer in this in this space, uh, being able to target your audience to their buying. Um, I think I said earlier, uh, maybe earlier in the week or one of our other Facebook lives, and we we're teaching about the different types of ads. There's traffic ads. Remember I told you about the highway and all the traffic on there and you want to get them down to come down your road? Well, that's a traffic ad. So you're getting them to come down your road. But once they get down your road, you want them to be able to not just click on something. You want them to buy something. So Facebook knows how to differentiate between those people that are we call tire kickers and the people that are actually interested in buying what you have the that your product sales or product or service. So it's pretty cool the way they do that. So uh, purchasing habits a biggie for network marketers and you know for anybody in business, right? Marketing. Absolutely. The fifteenth way is certain milestones that occur in our life. Whether you're retiring, if you recently moved, if you're going to be celebrating an anniversary, can you believe it? Or if you're looking to subsidize your retirement income, you can target people according to all these different milestones. That's pretty wild too. That, yeah, yeah. It's so just, you can see where you're just honing in and fine tuning and offering value and uh, answering somebody's prayer by totally scaling into how you create your ad and then you're reaching those people Kind of really goes back to that, um, you know, the just retired thing. So if someone's just retired, maybe they're retired early um, and they're, they're looking for another income. So you could uh, possibly, you know, hit them up because they're just retired. I want to go back to one thing about the purchasing habits. So uh, not only are you able to look at the person's purchasing habits, but you can tell them, uh, tell them what standard of habit they're in. So if they're above 
uh, above the mark and they they like to purchase stuff a, a lot of they like to purchase a lot of stuff online uh, you can target your audience to those people versus the people that you know maybe purchase every once in a while so you can actually differentiate that group of people um, in in the purchasing habit but anyway any more th about the milestones no okay. no and the 16th and last way and certainly not the least is mobile devices you can target your ad according to someone who has an ipad or an iphone or an android or whatever type of phone they may have you can target those people and you know what's interesting regarding ipads 40 percent people who buy online 40 percent more make their purchases online on an iPod pad and also if somebody owns an iPad it tends to mean that they are more affluent 80 by 80 percent by 80 percent that's pretty crazy how a big cool number. is that iPads yeah. right and you kind of think of it uh, we've talked about this before she's a she's an iPhone and I'm an Android but mostly guys use Androids I don't know why but <laughs> girls they use apples it, it might be, it might be rolling iPhone. over. I'm sure it, it's not doesn't fit the millennial uh, thing because most every millennial I've ever ran into is an Apple, but uh, iOS, iOS. But at any rate, I mean that's kind of interesting too that you can actually focus your target market just on the type of device they use, uh, whether it be uh, iOS, Android, or even Windows, Windows phones. Uh, so kind of cool. Very cool. So that's all 16. Of right. Them. We went over all 16 of them and uh, we hope that we gave you value. If we did give you value, please let us know and write a V in the comment for value because that's the most important part is educating, sharing and exchanging what we've already learned and what we know and what we're working with, which is what we actually do and how we can encourage you and parlay that information so it can help you to guess what grow your business online successfully exactly. attracting people to you and letting go of prospecting awesome well said so if you notice that you know our genre has been all about uh, i think for the last couple of weeks have been about ads uh using facebook or any kind of social media so we're just we're still going through this little uh, area where we're talking about how to use ads, different types of ads, conversion, traffic, the different type of target markets and things like that. So we're going to keep on with that next week. And I think that'll, that'll end up, uh, next week we'll end up with all our ads. But at any rate, um, as usual, I will drop a link in the comments section below uh, later that will bring you to this blog that we've been discussing for Wednesday and Friday. And uh, within that blog, if you read the blog, it has probably fill in a few holes, a little bit more information that we've given you on this Facebook Live. But we will be able to offer you a free 10-day attraction marketing boot camp. That's 10 days of videos of uh, what attraction marketing actually is and how it works. Um, and it'll probably uh, turn on a few light bulbs and get a few gears moving. And uh, it's, it's great stuff. It's, we've watched it several times. Um, and it's free. I mean, it can't hurt you, right? So 10-day uh, uh, 10, 10 free 10-day free attraction marketing boot camp. And I'll put that link on there. The other link I'll be able to put on there is uh, what, Lynn? It's our book, right? The book? <laughs> okay. Yes. How we got started, right? Well, yeah, yeah, our 27, yeah, our 27. Right. Yeah. You want to talk a little bit about yeah. that? Yeah. This is a bonus, people. <laughs> it's $27. You, when you grab the link, it's for $27 for 59 minutes. So grab it. This is how we started. This will get you on the roadmap to success. How to create your business online. How to let go of a job. How to create several streams of revenue. This will show you how you can do it. Right. And the light bulb certainly went off with me. And, and me. you. Right. Yeah, it's only $27 for Pete's sakes. What is that in lipstick? <laughs> One tube, right? One tube At all top or Sephora. There you go. Twenty-seven dollars. <laughs> so uh, I'll put that link in the comment section below. It's called the Attraction Marketing Formula Ebook, and uh, that book is only 180 pages. It's 10, 10 chapters. Great stuff. Uh, we read it within 24 hours. Ours are all marked up because that's 
how we, that was our foundation product. And when we started Attraction Marketing, we never looked backwards. We're very blessed that we actually read that book. So I'll put that link on there. And if you have any questions, comments, or you know, you just want to get to know us or you want to know more about what Attraction Marketing is, we are certainly available for you. So you can go to uh, lennonwill.com and pull down the menu that says work with us and schedule a vid call that way. Or you can go over to our uh, Facebook uh, fan page, uh, Lynn and Will, and uh, grab that link that says book now and you can schedule a uh, vid call that way. Or you can just drop a comment in the comment section below or send us a message through Facebook Messenger. Love to talk to you about it. It's great. It's just great. It's just blessed. We're just blessed. Right. That. I'll do it that way. <laughs> it's a way, way to, it's a great way to grow. It's a proven successful blueprint and you're involved with an amazing community of mentorship 24/7 and the best in the world. The best in the world literally. It's true. Right. Yeah, we're not selling you a bag of goods. This is the way to go. <laughs> do you want to do it tell them what we're doing Monday? Okay, so Monday, the six most effective targeting methods to use on your Facebook right now. The six most effective targeting methods to use on Facebook right now. And what's important about that is using it on Facebook right now because guess what? As times change in the in it within really days, weeks, and months, things are always changing. And what worked maybe three months ago isn't working necessarily now. So it's always important to stay current to what is working and what is no longer working. That's that's well said. You know, I'm glad we're with the community that we are because it does keep us. Hit. Oh, they're totally on top of it. Keeps they know it. So uh, anything else? They're in the in? know. It is Friday. Yeah, it is Friday. I hope you have a great rest of your day wherever you are in the world, whether it's morning, afternoon, or evening, or already the next day. We hope you have a great weekend. We certainly do. So um, we'll see you Monday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with the subject that Lynn spit out there. And uh, hope everybody has a wonderful weekend. With that being said, peace, peace love, love, and light. light. Peace out, everybody. Peace we'll out, see everybody. you Monday.